Just prior to kickoff, let's go down for a quick word from our colleague Pat O'Brien. Patrick? John Carney will kick off. A year ago, the Trojans were in a similar circumstance. Randy Tanner fumbled the opening kickoff. George Streeter hit him. And Notre Dame scored early, five seconds into the game, en route to a 37-3 victory. And it happens again. But this time, the Trojans recover, and Cleveland Coulter, a freshman from Tempe, Arizona, USC starting offense. Ken Henry need to get him the ball. Best receiver, caught seven touchdowns this year. Randy Tanner, he'll run a couple of reverses today. He's been very effective this year. Paul Green will move around in motion. Now, as you look as the, as the, at the backfield, Rodney Pete, the quarterback, he is the leader. He is the key. He has made all the big plays on offense this year for USC. Rodney Pete, sophomore from Oldham Park, Kansas. His dad was an assistant with the Kansas City Chiefs. After serving at the University of Arizona, Pete will throw on first down or scramble. That's the option. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Brings up a second down and two. H-back is in Paul Green. The pitch out to Ryan Knight. First down plus to the 46-yard line. The offensive line. This has really have been a disappointment for USC this year. One of the reasons the running attack hasn't been strong. There haven't been a lot of gaping holes. But when they have run, they run right behind Jeff Regal, the All-American, and Dave Cadigan, the strong side tackle. The tight end, McKee, is a good blocker as well. Another substitution in the Trojan backfield on first down as uh, Todd Steele comes in. Green stays in, and Ryan Knight is out. A little fake toss, and Pete lobs one out. Incomplete at the 30-yard line. Uh, Notre Dame defense, Errol. Well, the down linemen have been pretty good. Robert Banks moved in from outside linebacker, best pass rusher. Tommy Gorman's in there replacing injured Mike Griffin, the nose. Wally Klein, six foot eight, excellent season for him at the other side. Dave Butler, the weak side linebacker. Weisenhofer, the inside linebacker. Mike Kovaleski, the captain, leading tackler on the team. And Cedric Figaro, a real fine outside backer. Second down and 10. Lonnie White comes in for the Trojans. The handoff goes to the fullback left side. And Steele picks up about four near the 50-yard line. The secondary has played well. Lou Holtz says Troy Wilson has had a sensational year, plays the left cornerback. The hitman, George Streeter at strong safety, very fine tackling, strong safety. Steve Lawrence at the weak safety in the other corner. Rand Brandy Wells coming off of an injury starting again. Third down six early first quarter, no score. USC's Rodney Pete takes the snap, straight back. Looks left, good coverage, but he finds Ken Henry first down at the 38-yard line. The tackle made. Brent Parkinson did a nice job on Wally Klein of Notre Dame then. Here's first down, and Pete with a play fake. Under some pressure from Wally Klein, pulls up, and will scoot out of bounds with about a three-yard gain to the 36. So on second down and nine, no score, first quarter. USC at the Notre Dame 36-yard line. And off to the second man. Ryan Knight, number 26, down to the 30-yard line. Matter of fact, the Irish are giving up nearly 200 yards per game in passing. Third down, and he will throw again. Good protection once more. Right side, incomplete. That will bring on Don Schaefer, a senior place kicker out of Irvine, California, who's not had a great season. He's 9 of 15 for the year, 48-yard kick, and that's a dandy. Huh. That could have gone for 12 or 15 more. It was a line drive, wasn't it? Looked like there was helium in the ball. And USC takes the opening kickoff and leads 3-0. USC led Notre Dame 3-0. Then late in the first quarter, the Fighting Irish pulled ahead of the Trojans when Steve Berline hit tight end Andy Heck for a five-yard touchdown. Unfortunately for the Irish, the extra point was blocked, making the score 6-3 Notre Dame. The Trojans responded early in the second quarter when Lewis Brock returned a Steve Berline interception 59 yards for the touchdown. So with USC leading Notre Dame 10-6, we now rejoin the action late in the first half. The Trojans have the ball on their own 34-yard line, first down and 10, after holding the Irish on fourth down here on ESPN Classic. The Irish have won the last three games. Rodney Pete leads his Trojans up. So far, they have 46 yards of total offense and the lead. Here's Ryan Knight, number 26. I might have gone for it. I'm dumping the ball down inside, field position. You're on offense even though your opponent has the ball. 
Second down now for USC at the 40. Ryan Knight breaks one partial tackle. Rodney Pete, little pressure. Now he's got a man wide open. Lonnie White. First and goal, USC. They go with a split back, tight end offense. Right side, touchdown. Leroy Holt. That is only the second touchdown scored by a fullback for USC since 1981. Schaefer's up, and it's good. Late in the second quarter, the Irish moved the ball downfield behind the arm of Steve Berline. We pick up the action with USC still leading Notre Dame 17 to 6. Notre Dame has the ball on the USC 26 yard line, third down and 11, right here on ESPN Classic. Third and 11 with 1.43 on the clock in the first half. See if USC is blitzing, they are not. Berline pulls up, fires it out to a release valve. Mark Green, first down at the 11. Big play by Berline. Just under 90 seconds remaining in the half, 17-6, USC leads. Draw play, Burnell Taylor, the senior from La Puente, California, to the five-yard line. Only lawyers can have that kind of money. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Here's Burline, under duress. Throws it away left side, up the grabs, incomplete. Now third down, Taylor and Green in the backfield. Blitz is coming, Burline is sacked. Rex Moore, number 35. The blocking wasn't there. It was a good call by the Trojans. The blitz hurt him. John Carney has hit 10 of his last 11, make it 11 of his last 12. Carney, the all-time career field goal leader in Irish history, has connected from 33 yards out. Set up a three-yard touchdown run. Here's John Carney. Jump. That's in between a squib and a pooch, pooch kick. And it's out to the 35-yard line. 15 seconds to go in the half now. Rodney Pete. Backs are split behind him, and he will throw on first down. Comes deep. Right side. Diving grab made by Randy Tanner. First down now with nine seconds to go. See what kind of an out route USC has in mind. Rodney Pete looks to the wide side of the field. Down the middle. Out route, nothing. And what a pop. Now, is it a completed pass? No, it is not. Now, Schaefer, who hit one of 48 earlier, will try one of 60 yards right now. That might be there. He got Unbelievable. it! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. We got a guy on the bench, as you already have told us, to kick the 64-yard field goal. What are you excited about a 60-yarder for? No big deal, right? <laughs> Check the football. We'll be back right after this message and a word from your local station. There's Tim Brown. Twice this year has returned kickoffs for touchdowns. Had one call back against Penn State and had one for a touchdown a year ago. And Brown drifts over to his left, two yards from the sidelines, and he's underway. What a nice open field tackle with a fumble at the 11-yard line, and they will rule that he was down. Steve Berline back in at quarterback. The Irish trail 20-9 to open this third quarter of play. Fullback gets it. Purnell Taylor, fumble. Turnovers are haunting the Irish. The first of the two turnovers was a 58-yard pass interception for a touchdown by Lewis Brock. Ryan Knight comes to the right side, inside the 10, near the 7. In the territory, the Irish have turned it over. Second down and two from the eye formation. Hand off to Ryan Knight. Plugged up by his own man initially, and that ball is free. That's going to be a first down. First and goal, Southern Cal. They come into the game with a 7-3 and three record. Backs in the eye. The classic cross pitch to the left side and a good defensive play by the Irish Wally Klein. A 60-yard field goal and now a fumble recovery at the 11. And it's second and goal for USC. 
Rodney Pete with some pressure. Shows some elusiveness and lets go of it as he runs out of bounds and throws it away. Well, there they are with the third down play rather than the sacrifice. He, you know, he could have had negative yardage. It was really a smart move. Four-man rush. Pete in the end zone incomplete. That time intended for Ken Henry and Steve Lawrence from out of Irvine, California, just south of Los Angeles. Wouldn't it be ironic if he missed this one? <laughs> no. No irony. <laughs> Wistful thinking, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, the Notre Dame in him will come out. It just did. Timeout. And now leads 23 to 9. Once again, Don Schaefer kicks it deep. Tim Brown is back in the lineup. That's good news for the Fighting Irish. And he steps and falls down at the 18 yard line. The last one. Get it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Five out of six will improve the curve. Here's Burline going deep. Tim Brown. Tipped away. Terrific play. Lewis Brock, the sons of famous athletes here in the Pac-10. Here's Berline. Man is open. Nice catch at the 35. That's good for a first down for the Fighting Irish. First down at the 36. It's 23-9. USC leads. They trailed only early in the game, 6-3. Whoops, motion. Flags. Offside against USC of South Bend. They won here two years ago, 19 to 7, ending an 18 game drought, and won three years ago, 27 6. Pass into the flat, left side. Mark Green gets it. Of course, with honors, no doubt. <laughs> First and 10. Tail back again. This is Anthony Johnson, the freshman out of South Bend, number 22. Three men in a tub will be there at the Cotton Bowl <laughs> in Dallas on New Year's Day. Burline lets it go. Oh. Tim Brown. What a dandy play by Burline and Brown. That is a great play by Steve Burline. Burline did a super job. That's a first down for Notre Dame after 33 of Southern Cal trailing 23-9, and Mark Green gets the handoff. Tackle is made by Ron Brown to Mark Green now with 68 yards on 14 carries. And you get a good look at Steve Burline, the senior quarterback. 23-9, Notre Dame trails. Dive play to the fullback, Braxton Banks, number 39. And he's down near the 21. That should be enough for another Notre Dame first down. They've got to get the touchdown on the board. Hiawatha Francisco in the backfield for the Irish. Here comes the blitz. And Francisco runs right into the teeth of it, but he's inside the 20 near the 19. Watch from ground level now on this second down and eight as Steve Berline looks over the Trojan defense. Screen pass. Right side, his receiver slipped and fell, then gets up. And Braxton Banks breaks the tackle and made something out of a disaster. Big play for the Irish here. High formation, wide receivers left and right. Play fake. No blitz. Berline with time. Short of the first down, the 15-yard line for Joel Williams. Well, except the three points here. I'll break the tie and say he should go for the touchdown. Carney gets three, however, so they do get something out of their first drive of the third quarter. A 32-yard field goal from John Carney, his second of the game, and that narrows the margin to 23-12, among all the other records that John Carney holds for the Irish. 23-12 with 9.02 to go third quarter. Cleveland Colter, freshman out of Tempe, Arizona. Now to the 30-yard line. In the third quarter, with USC leading Notre Dame 23-12, a Trojan drive that stalled at midfield was kept alive by an Irish roughing the kicker penalty. Following the penalty, USC moved the ball downfield through the air. We pick up the action now with 4.26 remaining in the third quarter. The Trojans have the ball on the Notre Dame 13, first down and 10, here on ESPN Classic. Again, Notre Dame threatens the blitz. They're coming. Hand off left side. Ryan Knight tries to get outside and does. Around the corner and out of bounds at the five-yard line. Makes it very difficult to overcome, particularly when you're behind. Second and four. The handoff to Knight, who's been the workhorse in the backfield. He plunges inside the five and down at the one. Now from the one-yard line. Holds is in there. Touchdown. 
drive, the second one that the Trojans have put on today. Schaefer's extra point is up, and it's good. It's Todd Steele, a 6'3", 235-pound senior, emulates Herschel Walker up and over the top and in for his first career touchdown. And Ted Toller, whose job is on the line, has to be pleased with his team's effort thus far. Don Schaefer kicks it off. And this will be Tim Brown, the junior from Dallas, to return it. Got some room. He's already returned two for TDs this year. Tim Brown played for a high school that won only four games in his three years in Dallas. Woodrow Wilson, here's Berline back to throw. Incomplete pass, and Berline is down and hurt. USC leads it 30 to 12. Jim Brown in motion. Five play pitch out. Mark Green, nice little move. A dandy little move by Mark Green to get to the outside. Kicked him out of his weight distribution, didn't he? <laughs> Berline is back in on first down. Mark Green gets the handoff. Oh, that was a dandy move. And USC has opened up a 30 to 12 lead. They led 20 to 9 at the halftime. Here's Berline with a good block. Lobs it out to a wide open. Braxton Banks, touchdown! Could have tied LSU, save for a drop two-pointer. Here's Berline, flood play to the right side. Has a man open. Got it! Got it. Milt Jackson. That's a good play there by Notre Dame. I really like that, Aaron. The momentum changing. The kickoff return by Brown was for 57 yards. Burline hurt, out for a play, came back in, threw 22 yards for the touchdown. And now, here comes Lonnie White. Wow. And yeah, that's a dandy <laughs> return. Good call. 30. 20 now. And here's Ryan Knight trying to get loose. Now to cross the 40 near the 43. <clears throat> they certainly demonstrated on the last drive. They cut the margin to 10 now with two minutes to go third quarter. Option play, Rodney feet on the keeper. Here's the 51st down, Southern Cal. It's a first down and 10, USC. Play fake. Nice fake by Rodney Pete. Nice pass by Pete. Nice catch by Paul Green, and that's out of bounds at the 45. Second down and four now from the 44. The fullback gets it, Leroy Holt. And that might be enough to move the chain. He's near the 40-yard line. Let's see if Rodney Pete. Now they keep it on the ground to Ryan Knight. What a pop. <laughs> and that'll end the third quarter. We'll be right back after this message and a word from your local station. We're back for the final 15, second down and seven for Southern California with a 10-point lead. Up the middle she goes to Ryan Knight, number 26. Well, that makes this a very significant third down play. Third and five. Rodney Pete wings it out, caught by Green. Hurdles over a tackler, first down at the 18. I like that. And Rodney Pete is within five yards, becoming only the third USC quarterback to ever pass for over 2,000 in a single season. Leroy Holt, the fullback, gets it up the middle. And it's second down and one. Motion from Green. And the tailback, Ryan Knight, surging inside the five. First and goal at the two. Steve Lawrence makes the tackle. Until Leroy Holt's touchdown against Arizona State earlier, USC fullback hadn't scored since 81. They've got two today, and here's Todd Steele near the end zone. On the play, and it's driving him out of there. He's got to stay lower. The two fullbacks will stay in the up position. Quarterback keeper, touchdown, Rodney Pete. have been able to put 36 points on the board. The most anybody scored against them during the year was 29. I've never seen Ted Toner this emotional. Again, the offensive line, sir, they've really taken charge here in this drive. Watch, you're not going to see too many white jerseys in gaps. Again, just allows Rodney Pete to get the ball into the end zone and for a big lead. It's a lead of 17, 37-20. 
62-yard touchdown drive in 11 plays. Go back on top by 17, 37, 20. Squib kick. They can have the 26-yard line. Oh, boy. Oh, USC. <laughs> well, they normally put us in the end zone, but we're doing all right. Pat, he says he has a chapter where you live, and the dues will be waived. Let's go back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think Patrick O'Brien's... The first down at the 43 with 11.55 to go in the game, and Burline in the face of the blitz. Off balance throw deep for Tim Brown overthrown. The guy who went to Southern California, right? He's a road scholar. Couldn't find the parking lot here. He could play pro ball here. <laughs> Here's Burline going deep. Caught. Touchdown. Mel Jackson. Burline with 231 yards passing. Flag is down. Burline pulls up. As it, if the play stands. Motion call. Notre Dame. They have to settle for the one. But they get a 43-yard touchdown grab. Burline to Bill Jackson. Watch the close-up of the catch by the young man from Fairfield, Iowa. That catch plus the extra point means we have a 10-point margin again. With USC leading Notre Dame 37-27 midway through the fourth quarter, the Trojans were able to move the ball downfield on the ground. As we pick up the action with 6.20 left to play in the game, the Trojans have the ball on the Irish Five. Fourth down and a foot right here on ESPN Classic. They'll go on the first sound now. Fourth and inches. There it is. And Pete squirts over right guard. Now, did he get enough for the first down? On the field. I don't know why there wasn't a measurement taken there because it was fourth and inches to go. I think that's what Ted Toner is uh, complaining about right now. And the penalty assessed, 15 yards. Of course, puts him... Puts the Irish out to the 20. First down and 10. Burline with his backs in the eye. Both wide receivers to the left side. Mark Green circles left and is out of bounds across the 25. To request a measurement? Yes, you could have requested it. I don't know why the Trojans didn't. Here's Burline with the pump fake. Goes deep. Tim Brown. Out of bounds at the 27. Notre Dame at the 27. Trailed by 10. Two wide receivers, top of the screen to the left side. Tailback, Mark Green, the sophomore, rips over right guard. Inside the 20 to the 19. And that's exactly what's happening here, but they lost a lot of time on that drive when Southern Cal was running the clock down. Second down and three. Ten-point difference in the game with 5.24 to go. Mark Green, that's down at the 17-yard line. So something had to be said. And maybe it was a guy requesting the... Here's Burline in the end zone through the hands of his receiver, Jackson. <laughs> Second down and 10, 37-27. Pitch out. The 20th carry for the sophomore tailback, Mark Green. He's inside the 10, and they have a third and one at the 7. The tailback, Mark Green, to the five-yard line. That will be a first and goal. Stopping thing, and here we go with first down. First and goal. Here comes the blitz from the Trojans. Burline, man, wide open, touchdown. Braxton Banks, second of the game. Wide receivers left and right. 4.24 to go in the game. Burline is tight end, fights, oh. scratches, and gets oh. it. In eight plays, the Irish go 80 yards for the touchdown. Yeah, that's the thing to do. Make them start at the 20. That is a free kick now. Goes into the end zone. Will come out to the 20 following the touchback. Both teams have one timeout left. It's first down and 10. Southern Cal with now a two-point lead. The fullback again. Todd Steele. And this time he is stuck. It was 20-9 to USC at the half. The Irish will not give up. Second down and 10. And a play fake by Rodney Pete, the sophomore quarterback, under some pressure. Let's it go. Nice pass. 
That is short of the first down, but it is complete at the 27. Big, big, big down. They stopped him. Irish will get another chance. On two, who's been blocking exceptionally well today. Here's Chris Spurl's punt, nice and high. Tim Brown is back at the 28. He's got a wall. He's never missed against Southern Cal. 2.15 remaining. Furline. And off to his fullback, Banks, to the 15-yard line. Fumble! Oh, Southern Cal has it. Now the ball is still loose. They called it down. The ball has been called down at the 15. Good call by the official. 1.51 to go. Ted Tolner's team, 7-3. and three, But they've never beaten Notre Dame while he was the coach. It's second and nine. Monaghan is in the lineup as the fullback. Blitz coming. Pitch out and the sweep to the right side. And Mark Green slithers down to the 12-yard line. All right, strength of the formation is to the left. Clock shows 104 and running. And off to the fullback. It's Green to the five-yard line. That's a first down and goal. That's it. <laughs> and we've got 42 seconds remaining. First and goal from the five. The wishbone now for the Fighting Irish. Right side. To the two-yard line. Tim Brown, the carry, and they are on the right hash mark. Vernell Taylor is in. Eight. To the one, four seconds. Three, and timeout has been called with two seconds remaining. You're watching the reaction of the Fighting Irish team because the teams came back quickly and John Carney has just kicked a field goal that gives Lou Holtz and his team the victory. USC thought they could block it from the right side, but absolutely not. Great exchange between the center and the holder. Carney got the ball up very quickly. I'll tell you, with all the luck, or I should say the misfortune that the Irish had, I'd hate to see it for Ted Tolner, but certainly the Irish had one coming with all the close calls that they had had, and watch Carney. All right. The Irish overcome a 17-point halftime deficit and